I can't believe that I almost canceled my Cybercheck order and this is why I'm glad that I didn't. Now the first reason why is because I absolutely love the look. When it was first announced, I thought that it was a joke. I thought it looked ugly, but I pre-ordered it right away because it was only 100 bucks. And after a few days and then a week, I started to love that it looks like a tank or a warthog, not a truck at all. The stainless steel is so unique, so sharp and edgy. I think it is really cool. Now, the second reason why is because it does not drive like a truck. I have driven trucks for years. I was actually a garbage man full time uh, before I went into full time YouTube. So I'm used to driving trucks and big trucks and this thing drives more like a car than a truck while being huge. And while it isn't a sports car, it does steer like a sports car because it is the first mass production vehicle to have full electronic steering. So there is no steering column. So when the truck is off, you can turn the steering wheel and well, nothing will happen. But then when you do, you barely have to turn the steering wheel in order to make a full turn. It U-turns just like a small car, not like my Ram, which requires a three point turn all the time, even parking. And that is because the rear wheels also turn with you to help make that happen. And at high speeds, they actually turn the other direction, the same direction to give you this kind of glowy feel across the road. So this thing drives so nice. Getting into any car after this, even another Tesla, it just feels off. Like driving shouldn't be that hard. You shouldn't have to take three turns with the steering wheel in order to make a sharp turn. Now I have to tell you guys that I am gonna be making more videos about the Cybertruck, but not on this channel. I'm gonna talk about the downsides. I'm gonna talk about real world issues with it. If you wanna see that, make sure you go to the link below and subscribe to my other channel. And the next reason is that it is fast. Oh my goodness. I have uh, the all wheel drive variant because the Cyber Beast would take a lot longer and it's a lot more expensive. Uh, but even still, this thing gets about a 12.2 in the quarter mile. It's faster than most cars. And because of the electric motors, you have so much power. And because you don't have a transmission, it is instant. So even going 60 right now, if I press on it, it just pulls. I mean, this thing is going to get you in trouble if you're not careful. All right. Oh my goodness. When do you get G-forces in a truck? <laughs> it's just so fun to have all that torque available all the time in such a large car driving more like a really fast, small sports car. Now, the next reason why I'm glad I didn't cancel my order is all of the storage space. Like I mentioned, I have a Ram 1500 that I've had for a long time, and that actually has a smaller bed, even though it's about a foot and a half longer. Now, in the bed, you also have a storage compartment that has dividers and actually has a drain if you wanna put drinks in there or something else. And of course you have that frunk. Now the frunk is small. It's not big at all, but it doubles as a bench seat if you wanna sit there. And my favorite thing is the vault. This thing works so well, it is motorized and you press a button to open it up and then you can get access to everything and you press a button to close it down. You can have it at whichever uh, length to stop if you have like half cargo and it just protects everything that you have in there and today as you guys could see it's been raining and when i opened it up this morning there was no rain in there other than what dripped when i opened it up and rain started falling in now you can get tonneau covers on different vehicles i could get one on my ram but usually it's flat or you can get a big box cover thing it's ugly this is really the best of both worlds and i can't believe that this bed in this truck is longer than my ram so overall i have more space now the next one might seem kind of silly, but I think it is super cool. I did the math and this truck actually gets better miles per gallon equivalent when you consider the price of gas here and electricity than a Prius, actually a lot better. This thing gets about 90 miles per gallon equivalent, 90, that is insane. My Ram in the summertime, I would average 12 and a half. 
in the winter time I would get about 10 so this thing is very very cheap to drive and I am going to be using for to this for towing towing a trailer towing a boat so it's not just going to be a truck just for the sake of having a truck and the range will go down when you're towing quite a bit depending on the weight but even still I'm going to be getting 40 to 50 miles per gallon or maybe uh, about 60 with a lighter boat and that is amazing now of course you are going to have to charge but when we go camping we don't go too far and you can actually just plug in your truck to the power that's there to recharge it for free included in the price and plug your camper into the back outlet so it has full 220 outputs and 110 so i can run my trailer and i could actually run it for about 20 days in our normal use microwave lights things like that if i'm using a lot of ac maybe about 10 days and that is insane to have that convenience and we love going camping and with that low maintenance practically no maintenance with gas vehicles you have a lot of things that you have to do and i really don't like bringing it to a dealership and fixing things with the previous teslas we've had we literally had no maintenance at all this thing doesn't even have a maintenance schedule everything just works and even with brakes because of the regen you don't have to be changing them out there's teslas with 200,000 miles that are still in the original brakes no oil nothing really to worry about other than some wiper fluid and maybe your air filter every i don't know is it three five years whatever it is it is crazy now the next one is super cool i have the foundation series it's the only one that you can get right now and it includes running your house off of your truck i have a little mini system that i made that only get me about a day and it was pretty expensive and this truck actually equals about 10 power walls that tesla sells and when you consider the power walls and the gateway everything you need that's eighty thousand dollars for batteries that just are stuck at your house where this thing yes it is expensive it's a bit more but you can run your whole house in emergency situations and you can use it every single day now i still have to wait for a couple months before the installation gets done but because of the wait tesla gave me two free months of supercharging because i'm waiting that is awesome and lastly because it's a big vehicle and i am using it for work and for business it is a tax write-off so even though it's pricey that is a huge incentive to buy something like this. Now, of course, you wanna to talk to your tax advisor depending on your situation and your use case, but that is something people don't consider if somebody is buying a truck or a very heavy SUV, the tax benefits as well. So I have been loving this truck. I'm so glad I did not return it or cancel it or even try to flip it which tesla's not letting you i had the temptations because it's a lot of money but after getting into this thing after driving it it drives like a dream uh better than the rivian which i rented for a week a few weeks ago um, better than other trucks that i've driven and better than a lot of cars it is such a great package now it definitely has its downsides and limitations and i will be talking about that on my other channel where i'm going to be making some cybertruck videos so if you guys are interested in this interested in the downsides interested in real world range tests at different speeds while towing and not towing a lot more stuff like that um, reviews after a certain amount of miles when i really spent a lot of time in this thing and when i road trip in it make sure you guys subscribe to that channel i'll have it linked below and possibly above right there check out the other video right over there this has been max and i'll see you in the next one